so the real question is what mechanisms are there for generating a world ensemble of randomly ordered universes? Well, Dawkins suggests two mechanisms. First, he suggests an oscillating model of the universe, according to which the universe has gone through an infinite series of expansions and contractions, and each time the constants and quantities take on new values. Unfortunately, Dawkins is apparently unaware of the many difficulties of oscillatory models of the universe, which have made contemporary cosmologists skeptical of them. Back in the 1960s and 70s, some theorists proposed oscillating models of the universe in an attempt to avoid the absolute beginning of the universe that was postulated in the standard model. The prospects for oscillating models were severely dimmed, however, in 1970 by Roger Penrose and Stephen Hawking's discovery of the singularity theorems that bear their names. The Hawking-Penrose singularity theorems demonstrated that under very generalized conditions, an initial cosmological singularity is inevitable, and therefore it's impossible for the universe to be oscillating from eternity because it's impossible to extend space-time through a singularity to a prior state. Reflecting upon the impact of this discovery, Stephen Hawking notes that the Hawking-Penrose singularity theorems, quote, led to the abandonment of attempts, mainly by the Russians, to argue that there was a previous contracting phase and a non-singular bounce into expansion. Instead, he says, almost everyone now believes that the universe and time itself had a beginning at the Big Bang, end quote. And Dawkins apparently labors under the delusion that a singularity doesn't form a boundary to space and time. In any case, even if the universe could somehow oscillate from eternity past, such a universe would still require an infinitely precise fine-tuning of its initial conditions in order to persist through an infinite number of successive bounces. So that the mechanism that Dawkins proposes for generating the many worlds is not simple. In fact, quite the opposite. It's infinitely complex. In fact, such a universe would involve fine-tuning of a very bizarre sort because the initial conditions would have to be set at minus infinity in the past since there is no beginning to the universe. But how could that be done? How can you set initial conditions if there was no beginning? It, it seems to be logically incoherent. 